Okay, I have something really cool, guys. I have made my own color palette generator for web design, and it's now online, it's published, you can use it, it is so cool. You can start with one brand color right here. So let's say that your brand color is purple, like this. Then it automatically generates the whole palette right here with three light colors, three dark colors, and two main primary colors. And it gives a live preview here on the right. And when you hover, you can see which colors are used. How cool is this? And I made this completely with AI coding. I used Bolt. I didn't write any line of code. I am so proud. This is the first product, basically, the first web app that I'm launching. It's live. It's free to use. I hope I can keep it free. And I think it will be really cool for everyone in the community. So let me tell you the story behind this because it's actually quite funny. I was creating my design course. This design course almost goes live. The last chapter is now being edited. And in this course, I had to explain a lot of things about design because it's a design course. And I figured out that most websites don't need that many colors because colors repeat throughout the design. We have some dark colors for the text. The body is often a little bit lighter than the heading. We have some button colors. But then we also have dark sections and you can reuse these colors in order to keep the palette small. And so you don't need a big palette. This is the absolute most minimum you need for websites because you always have some light backgrounds or dark backgrounds with light text on it or dark text and some buttons. But I think a color palette like this is better. And with a simple palette like this, you can already create amazing designs and this is what I explain in my design course. So then I wanted to show people where they can create a color palette like that. So I started looking online, many different websites. And I was like, yeah, something like this. Or maybe, you know, websites like this. Even Figma has a color palette generator. But most of these generators only have a few colors that are really bright. Or they just have way too many colors, which is great for product design, where you need a lot of different colors for like a delete option and a success message. But for the web, you don't need that. So I started to look on color palette websites where you have this kind of thing, but often the examples were just not great. I mean, look at this one. This is the example that they give. I don't know about you, but that contrast is not so great. Or look at this one, another popular one, which looks great and then they have a preview here for web design as well but look at that contrast again if you zoom in and let's pick another palette i don't know about you but this contrast is not good this is not a good palette for web design and so it may look good for graphic design but it's not good for web design for web design we need good contrast to be able to read some stuff so this doesn't cut it so the best example i found is actually this one this one is pretty nice. You can start with a color and then it generates a palette and that palette looks really good, right? But first of all, there are too many colors in here because then the question still is, which color do you choose for your heading and your body? And which one for your button? Which one for your hover? And if you wanna do anything on this website, like add a secondary color, you have to pay quite a bit, $5 a month. And so when I discovered that we could now create our own web apps with AI, I was like, I'm just going to give it a try. And I did it. It is so cool. So now websitestylekit.com is live. That's what it's called. It's not just a color palette website, because what you can actually also do is change the typography. And in the future, I want to add more things to this website, maybe also button styles. So again, here on the right, you have a preview of that color palette, which works for the web. And then here at the bottom, you can even change the typography, which has a preview built in as well. So let's say for the heading, you want to do Playfair display. And there you go. Now the heading font has changed. So you can see how that looks. You can also change the body font in the same way. Let's say Lato. And there you go. You see font combinations as well. And you can also lock colors. So let's say you want to keep the dark purple uh, colors, but you want some softer, warmer colors, you can just change it here 
and then the softer colors will be orange. And there you go. Now you have a combination. You have a two kind of color palette and you see how that looks on a very basic website. And then if you refresh the website, it will just go back to the original blue color. So then if you're happy with your palette, you can simply copy the codes and then go to your Figma or Elementor or whatever you use. And the code will be just pasted to your clipboard. So, and again, if you hover, you can see which colors are used for what. And that is really interesting because that makes you understand the palette in action. Here, this is a background. We use light two over here. Then the cards are a lighter version of that because they need to pop out a little bit. And then these icon backgrounds are light three. And also, by the way, the little uh, borders around the white boxes, they're also light three, but it's very hard to get that on your hover like this. So yeah, this just works right now. And it is pretty basic, but I personally think it's already better than these other examples because this is specifically made for the web and it's free. This one is free to use right now. Again, I hope I can keep it free because I don't know how much it's going to cost if this website gets a lot of traffic, but I, I think it's going to be fine. And I want to add more features to this website. And so if you guys have any ideas, you can just go to the feature request page and then wait, what is this gradient? Where is it coming from? Is that here? I didn't add that gradient. Okay, that should be removed. <laughs> Sometimes the AI just adds things which you didn't ask for, but okay. You can uh, uh, basically request a feature here and then it will open your email application because I haven't figured out yet how to make a form in this. And also if you have feedback, you can do that in here as well. There's even a little demo video that I made, uh, which you can view right here. Uh, the safe palette feature that doesn't work yet because right now it just renders all at the front end. There's no backend yet, so I should add a little pop-up here that that feature will come later. Honestly, I also think that when I'm going to add a feature like that, then there should be some cost to it. Uh, because I've learned that if you're going to save a lot of data from users in the database, then the hosting costs are going to go up. But this one can be completely free. And so I want to add more features. I was already thinking about like a dark mode. And completely light mode version because this is like mixed right it's different guide types of backgrounds maybe add like button styles over here that you can already change how the buttons look maybe a secondary color a contrast checker i tried that already but it didn't really work so yeah this is like version 0 0.1 it's here it's live you can test it website stylekit.com i am incredibly happy and proud that I just published my first little web app completely made with AI coding. I'm actually already building more stuff in the background. I hope you like it and let me know what you think.